Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Doggo333, and welcome to the Political Machine 2020. Now, this is a game created by Stardock Entertainment that re-releases about every four years to correlate with the American election. So, we had 2016 back in the day, then I think 2012, 2008. And I think, after, I think 2008 was the first one, although I could be mistaken. I don't know for certain. Anyway, uh, if you get, can't figure from the um, the name, or the year, or looking at the television, or the giant flag and recognizable faces, this is a political simulator that puts you in the shoes of either a Democratic or Republican candidate in order to try to get the White House. So, since it's we're right in the middle of an election season over here in the states. And actually, right now, it's Super Tuesday, as I'm recording this. Actually, the game was released on Super Tuesday, so I already bought it, played it a little bit. Um, politics has been on, it's on my mind. It's probably on a lot of yours. You're probably fucking sick of it right now, as I am. So, But I figured, might as well have some fun with the misery that we have to endure in pol politics. So that, I'm kind of glad the blue machine is out, just so we can hop in and have a grand old time. Now before we hop in and actually play, let's look at, take a look at the settings. You can just play and just see how things go. You can do AI versus AI, which I believe is supposed to model, be a sort of predictive model as to who might actually win the elections. Which I think they actually do got a pretty decent accuracy. I think they more or less predicted everything back in 2016 except they thought they fixed a glitch that because it said that Wisconsin would go to Trump instead of Clinton. But wouldn't you know, Wisconsin actually went to Trump. And then you have multiplayer, which you can play with some friends if you are so inclined to. Load game, which is a bit explanatory. Then there's a little how to play section, which just gives you a little, um... Some little information about the game. Feel free to pause if you want to. But... I kind of know more or less how to play. So we have Battleground States. So yeah. So, and before we hop in fully, let's look at settings. Um, Kind of basic. You have resolution, music volume, sound effects volume, graphics quality. That's about it. That's all you need, really, is when you get down to it. So now that we're done uh, monarchying around, let's go ahead and play. So obviously you can choose your party. You can either go with the Democrat or the Republican because third parties in this country are a fucking joke and with the way the system is set up, there's no point in playing them or voting for them. As fucked up as that might be. I'm going to try not to get political in this video. So there's only one fair way to determine who we're going to play. A coin flip. Now, some of you might be thinking, the fate of this country should not have be dictated based off a coin flip. And to that I say, look what happened in Iowa uh, with the caucus there. So, I think we're going to go heads for Democrats, tails for Republican. Um, should we do two out of three? Let's do two out of three. So, that was a shitty, shitty flip. So that's tails, so that's one for Republican. We'll see how the rest of this goes. Flip two. Tails, or not, not tails, heads. So, 50-50 right now. This last flip is going to decide it, folks. All right, I got to pick that fucking coin up now because it just fell on the floor. Um, heads! All right, we are going with the Democrats then. And we'll just, we'll just go for normal right now. I played a little bit at first on beginner and then back onto normal. I tried normal out a bit, so I feel all right enough with normal. And uh, let's go ahead and hop in. Now, you have a, admittedly a kind of li limited option for Democrats. You have uh, Klobuchar, uh, Yang, Senator Sanders, whoever the fuck this is. 
I, I, I have no idea who this lady is or why she's in the fu this fucking category, but okay. Um, Elizabeth Warren. Uh, Sleepy Joe. You have a massive comet. Uh, of course, that famous candidate, Massive Comet, um, did kind of okay in Iowa, then kind of flandered out in New Hampshire, then dropped out, endorsed Bloomberg of all people. Speaking of which, Mike Bloomberg, um, doesn't look very enthusiastic, but what are you going to do? Uh, Mayo Pete, and, uh, Tulsi Gabbard who's still running right now, and I'm not ex entirely sure why, because she's not getting any votes, but what are you going to do? So, we have all these options, but you can also create your own candidate. So I think we're going to try that. So we got a couple options to go for. Um, first off, we got to come up with a name. Hmm. Now, who does this country need right now? In a time of turmoil harshness, cruelty to their fellow man. What does America need in order to unite them? Oh yeah. We're doing it. So, we have Mr. Hitler. Um, apparently a Democrat. Um, which state has a Decent German population. No, Texas has a sizable one, so we'll go with Texas. Um, an ideology. Um, we have fascism, lunacy. I like that. Trumpian populism. Um, let's go with fascism. Screw it. Um, we gotta. Looks like we have to wait a second to customize them. So let's work on it. Um, we gotta go all the way up with char Charisma. Um, he's a bit of an outsider. Not too much minority appeal, admittedly. Um, a little slow, but you know, what are you gonna do? Um, lots of stamina. He has some, he has an alright amount of money, you know? You know, um, election history ch chancellor. Um, let's customize a bobblehead. Um, suit and tie, just with suit, suspenders, dress, <laughs> skirt, spiked armor. Uh, we obviously have to go with a skirt, obviously. Um, oval, angular, round, let's go ang, let's look at the rest of your options. Epic chin, that is an epic chin, admittedly. Boxy, oval. Kind of like, um, Angular. Hair parted. We gotta find this. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Um, that, that works. He doesn't have... Um, we gotta find us. Damn it. <laughs> There's no Hitler stash. <sighs> um, that kinda works. We'll go with that. Um, cheeky lips frown. You know, you don't really see Hitler smile much. Whenever you see him speak, so I figured, nah, a surprise, tired, basic, blue, cute, eyelashes joyful, stern. I mean, the Germans are quite a stern people, so it might make sense, but surprise, tired, <laughs> fuck it, and eyebrows, this is kind of Hitlery. I'm going to hell. I know that. Ears, generic, sure. Hair color, black. Skin color, alright. Uh, skin color, how fucking white can you get this? Oh, wait, wait. Oh my god. Oh god, that is horrible. Okay. Alright, we're doing <laughs> We're doing this. Ah. Uh. Um. <laughs> oh fuck. You know I like the old black look. I think Hitler's going kind of um, going kind of goth. 
for this uh, go around, which makes sense. Um, Democrat from Texas, fascism. Um, curious what lunacy would be, but we're just gonna go with fascism. Um, and yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, so done. Yeah. Oh, made for greatness. Beautiful. So we got Mr. Hitler. Now we have to pick our opponent. And obviously, we have to go against the Mr. Giant Meteor here. Now, I was a big fan of Mr. Meteor when he was running uh, in the election. It's a shame. Um, but you know what? I think he's going to be a very fair opponent. A former celestial body, Giant Meteor has traveled a very long way to eliminate the human race. You see... This guy just wa wants to eliminate the human race. Us as Democrats only want to eliminate most of the human race. <laughs> I can't even finish that. Jesus. I'm going to hell. I know that. But, I'm going to try my best to take the country out with me. <clears throat> Hitler vs. Meteor in presidential election thriller. The curtain is raised, a bell, and has been rung. The gloves are off, and our two candidates, Adolf Hitler and giant meteor are coming out of their corners. Hitler from Texas leads the Democrat ticket against Republican California native Meteor. The two have a long road ahead of them, 21 weeks ahead of campaigning, advertising, and traveling throughout the country, trying to their best to prove their worth as the next president of the United States of America. Which one will emerge victorious? Only time will tell. So yeah, I'm done. We probably picked a bad fucking state to start off with since we're Democrats. But, you know what? What are you going to do? Let's build a headquarters there. Did he, um... Oh, that motherfucker started... You motherfucker, you started a campaign in Texas. Okay. Um, so... Here you can build campaign headquarters. Uh, you have to pay a certain amount to upkeep a week, but it gives an enthusiasm bonus from the state, and it lets you see what the people in the state of Texas care about. Then you can choose to say, give a speech about whatever. Now you can choose between a lot of options here, like say, um, abortion rights. Totally not a touchy subject at all. So you can say that you support abortion rights, which might improve your approval of, say, Democrats, but it's probably not going to help you much with uh, independents or Republicans. Alternatively, you can say that you oppose them, which will give you a bonus with independents and Republicans, but not so much with Democrats. And then, you can also say that your opponents support abortion rights, or that they oppose them, and that gives them less approval with whichever correlates. So we can do a speech there, and then we're just going to say th that damn meteor supports abortion rights, because I'm sure that makes sense. It'll raise their Democrat approval, but it'll lower their approval with independence and republic. Actually, we are Democrats, so we don't... Hmm. I mean, if we were... I'll re reduce enthusiasm for both of these and improve our well improves their appeal but hopefully we'll get that going hmm we could do border protection and say that I support uh, border protection so let's do that and then from there you have ideology points um, which you get from going to town halls and you can go ahead and um, get working on aspects of that which gives you more issues to campaign on so we'll get to that eventually you can also fundraise if you need money which go figure running for the most important office in the fucking world costs a lot of money so you can go ahead and raise money if you so desire and it depends how much state uh, how much of it on the state for what you get you can also create ad and ads in Texas say that you um, or for, say, um, funding NASA. And that'll improve your appeal. And then finally, you have operatives you, who you can hire in order to help out your chances. 
So the, the goal is simple, you have to get all these, as many states as you can to like you, and on election day you have to get enough of these states with every little values uh, to add up at least to 270, and then you win. So yeah, that's the plan. So now that we got that done, let's go ahead. Let's say how we, let's bring up how we support funding NASA. Now, we, we know plenty about NASA, of course. We actually, um, we've been to the moon. We have some colonies up there. So we should hopefully, that'll probably help a few. And so as you see, um, there's a town hall right there. So we're going to go ahead and go over there in Kentucky. Um, giant meteor throws his full support behind kill all humans. Fair enough. I can, I'm more, that's a bit radical for me, as I've said. Oh, and we've actually um, got a lot more support with that. So we don't even need to um, necessarily... Seems it's somewhat popular in these states. So, and again, if I lived in Idaho, I don't want to kill all humans too. No offense to any people in Idaho, but y you know. And let's get a office going in West Virginia, Mountain Mama. Um, okay. And... So let's go over next turn. You have a set amount of energy every day, and it depends on uh, yeah, it dictates how much you can do in each state. Um, let's build a. Let's go ahead and give a speech. We oppose killing all humans. There we go. Now go figure, Democrats, Independents, and Republicans can get behind not killing all humans. Now, when I point out how I'm going to want to kill most of them, they might not approve of that so much, but what are you going to do? Let's check out um, Wyoming. Let's go ahead and um, get an ad going. Let's talk about gun control yeah sure I mean you gotta take away the guns from the masses so they can't oppose you when it's time I mean we gotta protect uh, the students of course um, I'm not a fascist what are you talking about now let's go to Nevada and then let's just go ahead and uh, end the turn We've got another town hall so let's go ahead and do that and we're gonna go ahead and um what do you want? A stronger federal government. Nationalism. Socialized capitalism. Let's go for um, a stronger federal government. So we can go for uh, state-run media. Universal health care. I think that might go down a little better, honestly. Or we could go down nationalism in a while. We still have a few points, but we can't buy anything right now, so we're just going to have to hold up. So Texas has actually gone uh, purple, which means it's a swing state, so we got to go ahead and... Uh, we can't have that one bit, so let's go ahead and do a speech. Um, yeah, I support fracking. Uh, fuck the earth. You know? There we go. And uh, we are solidly blue in Texas now, which... <coughs> Makes sense, of course. Now let's head up to Montana. Go ahead, not fundraise. Let's give a speech. Um, hey, that pipeline is fucking lit. Let's go for it. Let's go ahead and set up a campaign office. We're intruding right on his in his home state. I know, but you know, what are you gonna? What's he gonna do about it? And then let's fly over to Ohio to get ready for um, next turn. Ooh, meteor eating Hitler's dust after first week of weeks of campaign, bolting like a oh, giant meteor throws his full support behind nuclear winter. Okay, 
Adolf Hitler has taken an early lead in the polls, leaving opponent Giant Meteor several steps behind. However, experts are quick to urge Hitler not to get cocky. Don't dismiss Meteor yet, one pundit nodded. With both candidates just getting started, it's much too early to predict a winner. At the Hitler camp, staff members are thrilled with the early results. Meteor can kiss my Democrat butt, one intoxicated staff member exclaimed during a party camp campaign party. In my eyes, he's already lost. Like I've been saying, you don't mess president to be Adolf Hitler. Oh. Okay, we can get some town halls. Ooh, we've been invited to be here on Good Day. This is a morning talk show with some slightly over-caffeinated hosts, where the questions will be more about character issues. It will generally be a show you want to be on. You will be able to get your message across to a broad audience while voting difficult questions that may alienate voters. Sure. Today on Good Day, we've got a presidential candidate who will talk to us about voting. Dell's got all the latest weather, and celebrity chef Erico is here with a great new recipe for spring fudge. I don't want to encourage it too much because our audience is, of course, on the couch. But do you think Americans should be more active? Um... I think an active American should be harvested from their meat as a soup food source. It sounds like there might be some towns. <laughs> there might be, honestly. Um... I mean, they're going to be active, um, actually, they're going to be, if people don't like it, simply run away, poof, more active Americans. What? They don't like that? You're kidding me. When I was growing up, America was the greatest. It was unquestioned. Now it's questioned all the time. What do you think? Is America slipping or are the people being unfair? Um, fake news. It's a media making stories of imaginary things. It is horrible. Why would they sit do something like that? Because we haven't made it illegal yet. Fuck yeah. Fascinating. All right, folks, coming up next, we've got a special report on teen slang. Just what are they saying about us? Hitler's interview discourages is base. Well, we're still doing okay. Um, looks like we have a little secret opportunity in Nevada, so we'll go ahead and check that out. Just after his plane touched down Nevada, Hitler received a donation of 500000 No one knows where his money came from, and at this point, we're too afraid to ask. Probably good to not ask. Okay. Ooh, we can't embrace nationalism anymore, because that fucking meteor had to go ahead and embrace uh, nuclear winter. So let's go ahead and go over to Wyoming. Um, you know, I gotta say, I oppose a n nuclear winter. I really do. In America, at least. In other states, sure. But, you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, Giant Meter throws his full support behind a rain of fire. Okay. I see you. Oh, he went to, um... Got a little question mark over in um, Arizona. So where do we go next? Let's go Massachusetts. Um, there we go. Um, you know, let's tax the rich. I support taxing the rich, especially certain. I'm not even going to make that. I was going to make a Jewish show, but that's that's too fucked up even for this. Um, what are we going to do? We pretty much got this shit on lock. Not going to lie. Um, let's go ahead and raise some money. $86,000. Not bad. Not the best, but what are you going to do? And then let's go over to New York. Yeah, New York works. Town halls. Let's go ahead and build an HQ, then head to Alabama. Get that going. Let's build a headquarter head HQ in Alabama. Why not? And with that, let's go ahead and embrace nationalism. There we go. So we can go for a strong military or stronger law enforcement. Now, hmm, we gotta wait for a while before we're able to do either, but we'll just go ahead and wait. Oh, Giant Meter throws his full support behind a higher minimum wage. 
probably not too bad actually um yeah right now we are doing very well so let's go over to Minnesota build ourselves a headquarters let's go to Chicago or, sh sh Illinois basically Chicago that's all politicians really care about there let's be real um no nuclear winter no nationalism I fucking support nationalism let's fucking go and there we go I'm getting the people behind me the desirable people of course oh uh, giant meter is supporting boiling seas and, um, yeah, I got this shit on lock. It's not even. Let's go to Alaska. Uh, try to figure this out. Um. You know what? Um, fossil fuel industry? I'm down for that. We need, we need to get a bunch of resources to fuel, fuel our war effort anyway. So, you know what? I support that. And then... You know what, the environment, I like the environment, you know, we gotta have, um, environmental shit. Hitler was actually one of the first leaders to enact, uh, environmentalist policies in, uh, the Weimar Republic, which is actually pretty interesting. Oh, we can pick our running mate. Um, hmm, who do we want, who do we go with? Hmm. You know what? Hmm. I think we gotta go with Mike. Yep, we're going with Mike. Actually, do we want to go with Mike or Joe? Probably Mike. We could use money, and I think we'd, um... Actually, <laughs> Can we pick Giant Meteor to be our... Yep. Um, uh... <laughs> Giant Meteor's throne is in full support behind giving the frogs the right to vote. <laughs> oh, Jesus, fuck. Um, do we even have to do anything? I don't think we do. We are just, uh... We are killing it right now. So we got some high enthusiasm in Utah. Let's go and wait. Fundraise. 22,000. Not too much there. Dude, we are fucking killing it right now. It's not even close. And while we're here, might as well, um... No, fuck frogs. Fuck frogs, really. They don't deserve to vote. I mean, no one deserves to vote in Adolf Hitler's America, but, you know. Same enthusiasm. Electoral college votes. And then we got money, state wealth. Yeah, you really want to... Um, makes sense. You want to go to the bigger states in order to fundraise. Let's go ahead, raise some funds. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And then political strategy. Um, we got, apparently, Meteor as the lead right now, though. I don't know how exactly they determine that. Um, we have an opportunity in Idaho. So let's check this out. There we go. I'm not going to question that. I'm just going to take the money. Yeah, you know, I was gonna make a messed up joke about Jewish people, but I'm not going to. So we got um, go ahead and build a headquarter in Maine. What is there to do really? Nothing much. Ooh, we've appeared, uh, been inv invited to appear on Tucker Carson tonight. This is a show with an audience that skews towards conservatives. Questions are not difficult, but are more direct. Tucker will ask questions that working class voters are more interested in learning about. Welcome to Tucker Carson tonight, where I've agreed to not shoot my guests a look of confused disgust, <laughs> provided they agree not to say anything disgusting and or. Oh. 
That's good. The border of Mexico is in absolute chaos. Millions of illegals are riding in the United States and more pouring all the time. What would you as president do about it? Um, we need the military. It's becoming dangerous, sucker. We can see the violence caused by drug cartels, and we're still fighting war on terror with an unsecured border. It's time to put U.S. troops down there. That would ensure security and stem the flow of illegal immigration. What? There are lots of liberals out there who see these tragedies, these shootings, where some sicko's gone crazy and shoots... Shot a bunch of people, and these liberals are trying to use the tragedies to push their own agenda. Gun control. We want to share for Second Amendment. How do you respond to this? Um. Capital punishment. I think we should shoot all them liberals. <laughs> they all wish they had more guns. <laughs> to protect themselves. What? Thanks for partaking the rhetoric of freedom. Good night, fellow Americans. Damn straight. Yeah, I'm not too worried about, um. The base. So it's in Massachusetts. Fuck, we're rolling in bank right now. Um, where do we want to go to next? Let's go ahead and uh, get another headquarters going in Tejas, and then see if we can raise some more funds. There we go. And then where else? Um, town halls. Where is it? There we go, Minnesota. Let's get that question mark. Oh. Uh, uh, looks like we had to talk to Mike Bloomberg for fucking forever. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Um, make frogs our overlords. Fuck. Um... Again, as Adolf Hitler, there are a lot of unfortunate comments that I can make related to this, but I'm not going to. Because that's kind of fucked up. Let's go ahead. Let's run an ad. Um, you know what we need to do? Where is it? We need to kill all the fucking frogs. We need to. They're nothing but... I'm going to have to be very careful about what I say. Cause I don't want to get I don't I'm not monetized anyway, but I don't want to get my channel banned for making shitty jokes while playing as Adolf Hitler about killing all of a certain group of people. Cause that's kind of fucked up, and it has a lot of obvious connotations that are highly not good. Now let's go to Hawaii. You know, vacay a little bit. Uh, we still need to go ahead. Wait. We need a. T probably go for a strong military. And you know what? Yeah, fuck frogs. I oppose frogs running the government. Now let's go over to North Carolina. Well, free political operatives has appeared in North Carolina. Okay, who do we got? Smear merchant! I think Shine Meteor is doing a good enough job as it is. You know what? A little brand of fire is okay, you know? What are you gonna do? I mean, we're all, we're all gonna die eventually. What? It's a big. What's the deal if it comes a little sooner for more of us? And what over to Florida? Fundraise a little bit. There we go. Got some money. Another town hall. Let's go ahead. See if we can't. Fuck. Where is it? There. Nope. Still gotta figure out the buns exactly. Damn it, we're close. We are close. But we got to hold off. We'll go for a stronger military soon enough. A Hawaii? What do we got? Lots of money. That's what I like. Can we get any more? A little bit. I'll take it. Town Hall. Oop! A massive oil spill on American soil has caused enormous environmental impacts and a sudden increase in the amount Americans care about the cleanliness of birds. 
This has many voters now demanding the nation reconsider its energy needs and whether it's time to build, begin investing in alternative energy programs instead of major oil pipelines. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's focus on a strong military. And probably preemptive war after that. I like that idea. We only have shit, we only have two weeks, so we can't tell people about our plan for preemptive war. But, you know. Let's go ahead and build a headquarters in Mississippi. Comes down to the wire. Oh fuck. He started endorsing lower taxes. That actually might get him win get him the vote. Fatal Hitler and Giant Meteor are starting to feel the burn of 21 weeks, but two candidates are forced to push for one more week of last-minute vote grabbing. Hands will be shaken, babies will be kissed, promises will be made, but will it all capture enough votes to bring home the presidency? We'll know in a week. So we gotta start raising as much. Let's rate. We're gonna raise as much money as we can. Uh, New York. And uh, we gotta fund our War of Poland soon enough. Actually, we'll probably go War of Canada soon. Free political operative. And it's time for votes to come in, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Hmm, okay. 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 Uh, I think it's gonna be close, guys. Yeah, this is gonna be right down to the wire. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, I didn't. Uh, I think te I think it's gonna be down to Alaska, guys. Alaska, or Hawaii. Shit. Yep, it's all down to Alaska, folks. Whew, that was close. Hitler has won the day. The presidency with a strong showing. The popular vote in the electoral college. Hitler won, despite the fact that Meteor used more ideological points. Hitler spent less money than Meteor, which go just goes to show that you don't need to buy your victories. You just need to strong arm your way to the top using authoritarian politics. So, we have a transsexual, a trans, not transsex, maybe transsexual to transgender Adolf Hitler. And we have a fascist in the White House. Not that we didn't have one already. Ayo! Let's go ahead and check the exit polls. Um, you know, a lot of people agreed with me when it came to not wanting to kill all humans. Anti nationalism was a bit of a um, tough vote. So was lower taxes. Strong military, a lot of people support me on that. Um, lower taxes, go figure. Kinda. Like I said, it was going to make it close. Yeah. Um, this game is actually a lot more fun. Well, not, listen, I had stupid fun with this, but it's actually a bit more um, tense if you actually... No, oh, he had Mike Pence as his running mate. Uh, no wonder he fucking lost. He had Mike Pence. Um, anyway, this game is a lot more fun if you want to play it you know, seriously. Like, I, I didn't. But, yeah. So that's about it, folks. Um, if you like this video, leave a like. If not, feel free to dislike. If you want to see more of a sort of content in the future, I might actually play this again in the future a bit more seriously. Maybe on a harder difficulty. Um, so, yeah. If you want to see that, I also play mainly strategy games. Do lots, lots of hearts are in four. I'm waiting for Kai's Reich to be updated before I hop back in. But I do a lot of that. Do a lot of other games, like right now I'm doing Mass Effect 3, so if you're interested in any of that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you're interested in the game, it's going to be down link below for $15 or your regional equivalent. I like it. It's a lot of fun. I've done about three campaigns already, and it's a gay old time. I enjoy it. Um, What else? If you want to support financially, I have a Patreon link below. You can send a few bucks my way if you are so inclined. I also have a Discord down link below if you want to join with that. We chat, play games. All of that fun stuff, and yeah. Also, I probably should have said this in the first 
part, but I didn't realize I was going to be playing as Hitler. Um, fuck Nazis. Fuck fascist. Um, if you're either of those, you can fuck off. Meh. Yeah. So that's about it, guys. My name has been Dogwood33, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.